Let's start with third place. From Toyami Racing and Pro Motor driving the Chevrolet Corvette. Let's have a word with Tony Ave. Oh, he still hasn't got another car. Hey, Tony. <laughs> here at New Jersey Motorsport Park. Tony Ave, like he has done for the about for most of his career, came out of there looking pretty fresh. It wasn't easy, but here you are on the podium for the first one in 2010. Yeah, we um, just got really loose getting into corners and through the center, and I knew on the first lap I was in trouble because I didn't have any understeer, so I just went really slow. And, um, I, you know, it would have been nice if I could have led to halfway for the points, but Tommy got a little spot in traffic, and then he just checked out, and... Um, RJ was faster too. On the restart, I let everything cool way down, and I went as hard as I could to see if I could get back to him, but once I got heat in the tires, I could barely keep it on the road. So my guys did great, and uh, I just missed the setup. We tried something different in the differential, and it definitely didn't work, so. Um, you get to check off that box anyway. Yeah, exactly. And still celebrate a podium. Tony up, everybody, accepts his trophy from the president of SCCA Pro Racing, Bob Wildberger. He drives the WabashTower.com Mobile One Goodyear machine from Bell Harbor, Florida. This is R.J. Lopez. R.J. Feels good to have another guy named R.J. involved in this sport after all these years. Great drive, and of course, 100 miles. A lot of things have an opportunity to happen. Some of them did. Yeah, you know, um, the car. Oh, it was a bit tricky at first, um, but we got a good grip on it. We got by Tony, and then um, I couldn't I couldn't move my sway bars, and then I and in the yellow I put them soft, but I, I guess it kind of overclocked the sway bar. And I really went stiff, and I almost wrecked the car <laughs> when we got the green flag. And that's when Tony got back around me. I finally figured it out. I was able to catch him, and uh, we maybe we would have had some for Tommy there too. If we had a few more. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't make them 120 miles. They're all 100 miles. This is AJ Lopez picking up his trophy. And now, the reigning champion for Trans Am from 2009, back here with Pro Racing, this is Tommy Tracy! That's exactly how you do that. First of all, I'm excited about this new movie on uh, June the 4th. Yep, uh, the Duke arrives June 4th, and uh, Fox is really proud of it. You know, as usual, those guys at Fox really know how to open a movie, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people coming to see this. It was funny, because the two general losing kids called Rip and said, do you have Marmaduke on? And then I realized that I was a little bit older than them because I didn't remember the Marmaduke from before. So. Oh, really? <laughs> well, Marmaduke's kind of a popular character. Now, you, let's get down to business. This is the first race, kind of a new era for Trans Am. Uh, you won the whole thing last year, but now that it's got uh, some wings, it must be very important to you and to your team owner, Paul Genelosi, to notch the first one. No, you know, it's, it, it, it is really important when you have... <laughs> When, 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 I mean, it's hard to win a Trans Am race, and, and I tried, you know, for so many, I won one early, and then it took me all the way for the next one, and, uh, you know, the guys and the uh, people who run Trans Am, they're, they're the experts in this car, and, you know, you can do one or two laps fast, but you got to do an hour of these things, and they get, they, they, they become a handful and stay fast for an hour, and, uh, you know, uh, you should have seen RJ Lopez, I mean, I mean, this is what this is all about, because, you know, they're talking about, we're trying to get some GT1 guys over here, and, you know, they need to come over here because, you know, RJ just, you know, he got by Ave. He beat somebody today. He beat somebody, yeah. you know? And, you know, to beat nobody means nothing. But he beat somebody today. He's really happy about that. And I was coming after me, too, you know? I, you know. <laughs> and, 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 and for me to get by Ave, that means something, you know? Ave's been a great racer for a lot of years, and so this means something. So all the GT1 guys, you know, maybe you won't beat us at first, but if you do beat us, you beat someone. You beat Tommy Tracy. You definitely beat someone. Let's give it up for Tommy Tracy, winner of round number one here at New Jersey Motorsports Park. There's a slide by Dean Duncan. There's a whole lot more to do here, and we're going to do it all, but we're going to do it with our friends with Trans Am. Meanwhile, to wrap things up for a weekend, and by anybody's estimation, this has been a successful weekend. Let's go back upstairs to the man whose voice permeates every weekend here at New Jersey Motorsports Park, my colleague Frank Del Vecchio. Well, thank you, Tom. One more time, I want to thank 
all of you fans here at New Jersey Motorsport Park, thanks an awful lot for coming out this weekend. And I will promise you warmer weather for the next events. We've got lots of events. We've got 10 more events this year. Come on over to the, uh, to the pub or the tiny...